in Santa Barbara who just can't afford to buy presents. And People's Self-Help Housing Corporation is looking for people to step in and help those less fortunate families. News Channel 3's Vicki Nguyen joins us live from Santa Barbara with more on that. Vicki. That's right, Beth and CJ. That's the sad reality many of our families in our area are facing. While most children are excited to wake up Christmas morning and find presents underneath their trees, it's not very true for many children in low-income families. I talked to a Santa Barbara woman who told me she's always willing to donate time and donate presents to families through the Stuff the Bus campaign. It's my understanding that some children will not receive any Christmas gift. For the eighth year in a row, Nadine Turner didn't just want to donate gifts, she helped wrap them. Christmas is such a special day, especially for young children, and it makes me sad to think that there's children in our community who might not receive anything on Christmas Day. People Self-Help Housing Corporation started the Stuff the Bus campaign 10 years ago. With the help from Santa and his entourage, gifts were picked up from donation boxes in downtown Santa Barbara. This is a very respectful way to be able to uh, give something that's appropriate gender and age-wise for their child. More than 400 children living in housing developments in the Tri-Counties will receive the gifts. Children who Rose says understands that their families are struggling to pay bills. I think um, they will know that they're, they, they are loved, that someone gave something to them. Yeah, what better way than to offer a child a surprise to receive on Christmas Everybody Day? And it's not too late to donate. You can still drop off presents at the People's Self-Help Housing headquarters in downtown Santa Barbara. In Santa Barbara, Vicki Nguyen, News Channel 3.